Hi, tubes. Got something pretty interesting here for you today. I'm going to show you what's inside a transmission. So what we got here is a uh, it's a five-speed manual transmission. It just so happens that it's a, a Mazda Type M. And uh, they had these in a lot of different things. They, they came out, out of Miatas, RX-7s. I think there's little old Mazda pickups had them in them. Bottom line is it's a five-speed manual transmission. And aside from, you know, different designs that each company has, the, the operating principle is pretty much the same thing. You know, you got, you got an input shaft here. You got gears inside of it. You got a shifter to select the gears and you got an output shift. So the way I want to do this video is I'm pretty much going to do like a step-by-step teardown, not necessarily in like a how-to sense, but rather uh, go over like each module individually. Like for example, uh, I'll start talking about the shifter first. I'll show you how the shifter works. And again, the, the exact mechanism might be different on various transmissions, but the idea is, is going to be the same. So we'll do that. We'll pull the tail shaft housing off. Uh, and then we'll probably pull the bell housing off. There's really not a whole lot to see there. Uh, you'll see in a minute what, what we're going to have going on. And then uh, by that point, uh, we'll be able to see the guts of this thing and, uh, and figure out exactly how it works. First things first, we'll take a quick look at the actual shifter itself. Uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this just due to the fact that there's so much variation in the uh, shifter between different uh, models. But just for anybody who's interested and uh, any Miata guys that might be watching, uh, I'll just show you real quickly uh, what you have here is the stick itself, there's, there's nothing special going on here, this is all just steel going on and uh, you have a little boot here and that, that's what uh, keeps your uh, transmission uh, sealed and keeps any from dirt from getting in there but then you have two other things going on you got this ball here you got a little smaller ball on the end of it and on the larger one you got this little slot here you got this little plastic nylon ring up here and then you got this little uh, little plastic nylon uh, bushing that you have going on on the bottom of it here. Now if you look in the top of the transmission where the shifter goes, you might notice there's a little tiny pin here that looks like it fits that slot. There's a little tiny ring here that looks like uh, it's a little bit larger than that other ring on the shifter. And there's also a round hole down here at the bottom that looks like the, uh, the bushing on the shifter might fit into it. And so it probably doesn't come as too much of a shock that that's exactly how this thing goes together. If we want to put this thing, uh, the shifter back in, all we do is we line up our little slot here with that little pin that I showed you. And then we have to make sure that the bushing, we've got to get it straight so that it'll pop in there. But if those two conditions are met, this thing, uh, it sits right in there and the ring is going to be right on the edge. And then we have this boot here, which this particular one's damaged, but that goes on here. And then we put three screws in it to hold it on. Now this is where the fun part happens, at least in my opinion. This is where you really get to understand what's happening when you're moving your shifter back and forth. Now a side note, you might notice that my shifter turret, that's what this part's called, actually has a crack in it right here. So what you're going to see me doing is holding it so that it'll still operate correctly. So just be aware of that. If you see this whole thing moving, it's not supposed to. The only thing that should be moving is what's inside of here. So that shifter with the little ball on it and that little slot there, what that allows it to do is it can pivot it can go forwards and backwards and it also can go left to right and go sideways. And so what will happen here is let's say for the sake of argument that I take my stick and I push it forward like I want to go up into first gear. Well what's going to happen is it's going to pivot about this point here so the bottom half of the stick is going to go backwards and it's going to pull this whole thing back like so. Now you can see that there's a rod here and this rod I'll show you later actually runs all the way up through the transmission up to the, where the actual shifter forks are. So we'll start up here now if we want to go back I'm going to move the shifter back like I want to go in the second gear what will happen is once again it'll pivot about this point this part bottom part will go forwards and it'll push the whole rod up towards that way like so now we're in second gear first gear second gear first gear second gear now the other thing that we can do here is we can move the shifter left and right. Now what that'll do is instead of moving this bar sideways, it'll actually twist it. It'll rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise. So if I go over this way, like I'm going for first gear again, it's going to make this whole rod turn this way. On the other hand, if I go over here, like I'm going for fifth gear or, uh, or reverse or fourth or second, either way, one, one of those cases, then it'll turn the other way. And you'll see up inside the transmission what that's actually doing later. I'll just show you this one more time from a different angle. 
uh, me going sideways with this thing, how that turns, and then forwards and backwards, shifting gears. Now the other thing that I want to show you is, of course, this thing isn't normally open to the elements. There's this little cover that goes on it. And on this particular design, this actually has its own supply of transmission fluid in there that lubricates it, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting. But the other thing that you have going on is this little thing here. Now all this is, is a little plunger here with a spring on it. And what that does is when this cover is bolted on here, is that plunger pushes up against this thing. Let's say that you're driving in fifth gear or second gear or first gear or reverse, any of those gears or sixth gear if you have a uh, six speed. Well, what's gonna happen is when you pull that shifter, you, you pull the shifter out of gear, you notice that it always returns to the center spot. Well, that's what this little thing does here. This little thing, this little spring and plunger doohickey here pushes on this thing and sends it back in the middle. So as we go sideways here, like if I go over into first gear, this thing will turn over this way. Well, when I take it out of first gear, the spring will push on here and then bring your shifter back into place. Alrighty now, so hopefully you guys have a uh, pretty good idea of how the shifter mechanism works on this thing. So uh, now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pull the tail shaft housing off, which is from here back. We're gonna slide all that off, unbolt everything, and uh, then you'll be able to see a little more. So stand by. All right, here's something pretty cool. Here's something worth showing. This here is your neutral safety switch. So you might have noticed that uh, there's there's a number of different things that uh, in different cars you can or cannot do whether or not you're in neutral. And the way that switch works is you just have a little plunger on this switch here. And so when that plunger gets depressed, it'll either make or break the circuit. And depending on how the car is set up, uh, one or the other will uh, indicate to the vehicle that you are in fact in neutral. Now the way this thing gets depressed is this little uh, little cam right inside of here. So this is the shaft that runs down that's hooked up to the shifter. So when I'm, when I'm shifting the car, moving this thing, the shifter back and forth, you might be able to see it spinning in there. I'm going sideways with the shifter as if I'm checking to see if it's in neutral. And so there's something spinning in there. And basically what it is, is it's like a little cam and it has a low spot. So when you're in neutral, uh, it can tell and it will indeed trigger that light or whatever the case may be. The uh, reverse light is very similar. You have a little cam and it, uh, it presses the button only when you have the transmission in reverse. That's actually over on the other side. Pretty cool. Shit, where's that coming from? Just got transmission fluid on my brand new pants, darn it. Alrighty now, so this thing's ready to come off of here. It's already starting to leak transmission fluid out of it. I've obviously drained most of the fluid out, but there's still some inside of it. I got some on my brand new pants here. Not too happy about that. But uh, either way, this thing's, uh, this thing's ready to come apart. That's right. There she be. You can see right in there, you got your speedometer gear. And of course this right here is the uh, apparatus that moves as a result of your shifter. Pretty cool, right? Alright guys, that's going to do it for part one of the video here. Uh, I decided to split it up into two parts just due to the fact that there is quite a lot to talk about here. And uh, so if you like this part so far, uh, definitely throw me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And uh, leave me a comment as well. I always love reading comments. So uh, there's that. And stay tuned for the next one. We'll be, uh, I'll be showing you exactly what the shifter is doing inside the transmission. And then we're going to pull the bell housing off and hook a motor up to that thing. So you guys uh, can see the gears spinning around, how the synchros work, uh, the shifter, the shift forks, and, and everything. Everything is going inside the transmission. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dirtbike5100. I think that's down below me at the moment. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, tubes.